okay class now we are further continuing this concept here for the binary search here is the program for the binary search we have explained in the previous videos also so let's take a quick review of it first what we are doing here this is the array we are passing here in the sorted order here length we are calculating now we are passing here four elements array name first initial value then the last value l minus 1 and the searching element is 20 here when we will call this binary search here this function will automatically calling that function definition of the function is here these four arguments will be mapped with the actual parameters here first element or first argument is array now low would be zero here high would be length minus one and value we are passing here as 20 for the searching element so if high is less than low then return none that means if you pass here in low value greater than high so it would be wrong assignment you have done here so it would return here none now if you pass here right arguments as low is equal to 0 and high is equal to length minus 1 then the else part would be executed here mid is equal to low plus high minus low floor division of 2 floor division will give the shortest integer shortest integer that means if you have 4.0 or 4.2 here so it would return you 4 its first integer it would return so this operator we will define here it would return here the smallest integer of the number you are passing here so from here we can find out the mid if array of mid that is the element actually this is for the index and this is for the element actually so this mid element is greater than value if the mid is greater than value then again we are calling that function with the recursion we are using here recursion because in this function we are again using the function for calling the same now again we are passing here four arguments array low mid minus one low is low is this time zero and high value is this time mid minus one mid minus one that is the mid of the array its previous element and the value for the searching we are getting here now this is the for the first part searching and alif first a i mean array here of mid less than value if if first of mid that means mid element is less than the searching value that means we will find the searching element in the next second part so we would pass here while we are recursively calling here function binary search we will pass here array name then this time low must be mid minus one that is the next element of the mid here and high that is the last element of the array and well that means the searching element we are searching uh, for that here that is well so it would look in the second half of the array now at last if we don't find in first half or second half half it's obvious that means the mid of the array is the actually element here so it would return here mid it would obviously return here mid done okay now the next next example we are taking here we are searching for the 11 the same procedure will be going on it would search in the first half it would search in the second half or otherwise it would be fine in the mid itself so there are, are less comparisons or less number of operators we are using here so the binary search is faster than linear search how we can say faster because it is using less number of comparisons less number of operators here we are not using here for loop we are using here recurse recursion or you can say recursive functions here so that's why its complexity is better than this linear search here although it looks like as simple as we are sequentially executing all the statements but 
if we analyze these two programs here binary search uses less number of comparisons that means it is better than linear search it would now these more concepts we will discuss in the next video thank you